able to take someone like that off the street, just I imagine gives a great sense of satisfaction. Not I imagine, I know it gives a great sense of satisfaction to the involved detectives and investigators that work this case. After 12 long emotional years, a bit of closure in the kidnapping and killing of a six year old girl, a crime that shook a family, the city of Tucson and those who serve and protect it to their core. Good evening and thank you for joining us today. A jury found Christopher Clements guilty on all counts in the disappearance and murder of Isabel Celis. Six year old Isa disappeared from her Tucson bedroom in April of 2012. Her remains were not found until 2017 when Clements led FBI agents to the scene in exchange for unrelated charges being dropped. The first trial ended in a deadlocked jury and a mistrial was declared. This time, the defense once again said the jury should acquit Clements if they had all doubted some of the evidence. But the jury of four women and eight men found Clements guilty of first degree murder, kidnapping and second degree burglary. We're so grateful to this jury for the verdict in this case. It has been a long time coming. More importantly, a long time coming for the Celis family. A dozen years later, today, they finally have a sense of justice for Issa. Not surprised. Uh, you know, he's been convicted once. Uh, we had a hung jury last year, uh, but I'm not surprised with the amount of media uh, surrounding this case that as long as the case was tried in Tucson, um, this was the most likely outcome. A statement from the Pima County Attorney's Office reads in part, quote, Pima County prosecutors put their best foot forward to secure justice for the family and the jury's verdict vindicates that effort. Our heartfelt sympathies go to the Celis family, given the trauma they have had to endure throughout the trial. We would also like to thank both extended families for their grace and strength through this process. Isabel was taken from her home near Broadway and Craycroft. Closing this chapter of a terrible time in Tucson's history has brought closure to the community, as well as the members of law enforcement who worked tirelessly on this case. Our Sean Mahoney joins us live outside where that nightmare began. And Sean, understandably, this is an emotional night for everyone involved. Yeah, Mary, many of the law enforcement officials I spoke to say it was a sigh of, of relief, a burden taken off of their shoulders. That burden starting in this alleyway you see behind me 12 years ago with following days, weeks, months and years of not knowing if this case would be solved, much less a conviction reached and law enforcement officials that I spoke to say it was the determination of their colleagues and the greater Tucson community that helped this nightmare reach an end today. It was all hands on deck for the Tucson Police Department. There was every resource available to the Tucson Police Department was brought to bear on this investigation. April 20th, 2012 is a day that will live in the minds of many Tucson law enforcement officers for a long time, a day which even the chief of police knew was it normal. Immediately, we knew something was a little bit different about this case. It was the start of a 12 year process, which now Via Senora can say finally paid off. There's a feeling of a deep breath can be taken now. As they look back at the process, which got Christopher Clements convicted, Fabian Pacheco, who was a TPD lieutenant during the search, says it was unlike any response TPD has had. Nobody could have imagined uh, uh, this, what is what has transpired in all this time. And it was unlike any response from the Tucson community as well that came together in solidarity, encapsulated by the terror that this could happen here. I think the fact that she was such a young, innocent, beautiful little girl and the community was so touched by it and we just put everything into it. As the days went by, members of law enforcement say they couldn't shake this unsolved case from their mind, something Via Senora especially was hoping to get solved before his retirement. You have parts in your career that you look back on, and there, there are certain things that just stick with you. And one of them that really stuck in my craw was the fact that we had not solved this case. Well, the process, both investigatively and even from the judicial uh, trial purposes be very nerve wracking because it's a very high profile case. There's a lot at stake. You have to be on top of your game. 
Those nerves now settled as the final chapter can come to a close for everyone in the old Puebla. It's closure for everyone, and I'm glad that we can put this part of our history to rest. Now, Pacheco and Villasenor both expressed their condolences for the Celis family when I spoke with them today, as they say they also expressed their empathy for what they had to go through during this trial process and investigation, including some of their own family members being questioned as suspects. But as of tonight, they can put all that to rest and the community can start to heal. Reporting live from the east side, Sean Mahoney, 13 News. Sean, thank you. And a lot of people were watching this trial very closely, considering the way the last trial ended. Having covered the first trial, I can tell you this retrial was almost a carbon copy of the first, from opening statements to who testified and what evidence was shown. The big difference here was, of course, the outcome. We knew something was going on in the last trial when we saw jurors visibly upset when taking one of their breaks. And we later found out it was just one juror who wouldn't budge. But again, today, all jurors agreed upon convicting Christopher Clements and Esau's death, granting some form of solace to the family and community that has yearned for closure for so long. We will have continuing coverage of this as Clements prepares for sentencing. Stay with 13 News and you can also find updates around the clock on KOLD.com and on our 13 News mobile app and Facebook page.